Hi, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another July reading. This reading is going to focus on love, right? So the person you're connected to or may be connected to very soon, okay? So if you don't have anybody, no worries. This could be someone who has not come into your life yet, but will very soon. So this may be, you know, sort of um, a sign of kind of what's to come. Um, this is also for cross watchers, those of you connected to a Sagittarius, masculine or feminine, and you want to know what's going on with them or you feel like this is resonating for you because you are so closely connected to a Sag, all right? So we're going to see what's going on for you guys and this person. I first want to see who this person is, all right? And then I want to see what's coming in, what they're offering, if anything, all right? So general messages, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal reading, check out the details in the description box. All right, so let's see. Who is this person Sag is connected to? All right, something... Did something come through? I don't know. Okay. Who is this person? Thank you. Seven of Swords. All right. Who is this person Sagittarius is connected to? Who are they? All right. Six of Wands and the Sun. Okay. Somebody that requires a lot of attention. Somebody that is getting a lot of your attention. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you may feel like the person you're dealing with is kind of childlike. They kind of um, look at you almost as a maternal, paternal figure. You may feel like you have to kind of keep this person in check. All right. Taurus is here. Leo is here. Libra is here specifically. But um, we're going to see what else comes through. So the person you're dealing with, they're very smart. Okay. Um, they do get a lot of attention. All right. They could be... Um, They could feel like they want some attention from you, all right? Um, You could be dealing with somebody who feels like they're about to like, maybe this is, uh this feels like it, res it will resonate for those of you that may have ended things or, you know, you're, you're kind of holding off on dealing with this person. Um, they're trying to find ways to like sneak back into your life or trying to find ways to get your attention, right? So in today's time, that typically means posting things on social media. It could mean popping up at places where they know you are going to be. The tower is though, I feel like this is about to, like if they've been sneaking around or if they've been like, um, you know, looking at your page, something is about to reveal that to you. It could even be this reading with the tower here, right? Something that was unknown to you. Now the facade has crumbled. And so you're able to see what's going on. But um, this is confirmation. I feel that um, a lot of you have someone or you're dealing with somebody who um, there's just a lot going on with this person. Um, some of you feel like this person is too unpredictable for you. And so that's what's been making it very difficult for you to like really settle down with them. Um, and for those of you that feel like this person has lost interest, it feels like they're still checking for you. What is the seven of swords about? Why is the seven of swords here? <laughs> it's a star. Yeah, this person wants your attention, Sag, and I feel like they're going to find a way to get it. Um, You guys could be dealing with somebody who cannot handle that you, you know, distance yourself from them. They cannot handle that you're not in their life anymore. They cannot handle that you set up some boundaries. So here they come, right? Doing something to try to get your attention. Yep. The magician, right? Being sneaky or being what they may feel, um, you know, resourceful, finding ways to communicate with you, to reach out to you. Um, this person feels like, uh, they may have messed up. Okay, really bad. A, a situation that they feel was maybe meant to be now. All right. They feel like they messed that up here. They feel like you are a soulmate or you are their soulmate and they haven't really been doing right by you. So I do feel like the six of wands is them coming through, wanting some attention, wanting some sort of recognition from you that they're still thinking of you, you know. Um, the world. Yeah, I feel like you guys closed them out of your life, though. So now there's all this like kind of seven of swords, sneaky behavior going on. All this sort of um, I got to I want to watch Sagittarius, but from afar. Right. I'm going to create a fake page or I'm going to, you know, pop up at, you know, their workplace and act like it's coincidental. Just be mindful that you could have someone like that. Um, You know, it just what is the world? Let's see. 
Yeah, you stopped giving them attention and now they want to be back in your life. The moon and the fool. So instead of just saying, hey, let's start over, that's because there's no apology tied to this. The person that you're dealing with is stuck in their ways. They don't feel like they were wrong. They just want access to you again. So the world, the moon, the fool here, it really does come through as somebody that you've ended things with. You don't give them attention anymore. It doesn't matter what they post. It doesn't matter how much uh, they try to get you to notice them. You are staying strong and you're not, you know, letting you know, them sort of get to you again. However, this person does feel like they are trying to come up with some type of way to get your attention. Um, it hasn't worked so far. Okay. To a wand. So they're still strategizing or the, the reason why it hasn't worked is because, you know, the two wands showing up, that means somebody's still planning. So it hasn't worked out so far them trying to get you back or trying to get some attention. They don't feel like they're coming through with any sort of anything, no apology, no real plan for you guys. It just feels like this person hates not having your attention and they're going to attempt to find a way to get it back. The sun here, possibly during Leo season, which is coming. <sighs> Why is the sun here? This person is draining. I feel that five of swords. Yeah, they do things for themselves. Okay. So for those of you that released this person, you did, I feel a good thing. Um, they do feel very draining. They do feel like they take up a lot of your time and energy and they, and they don't put anything back into like the battery, right? They, they just take and take and drain it. And then they don't really want to give anything back to you. So, um, I do feel like this is somebody who has ulterior motives. All right. They're trying to get your attention. It may seem flattering. This is somebody who comments on your pictures or who sends you a compliment and it feels good. But you kind of got to go, what's behind this? Why now? What do you want? <laughs> right. What is this five of swords about? Uh, the four of swords. Right. They're not really planning on doing anything. They just want to get your attention. Get it. <laughs> And then four of swords go back to, you know, sort of not doing anything at all. So I, you know, this person has thought long and hard about a way to get back into your life. And it feels like they are going to try to do something very soon to draw you back to them. Um, you have to be careful of taking the bait because the sun coming through feels very charismatic. It feels like somebody who can make you laugh, somebody who can disarm you, right? Who can disarm your boundaries and defenses. So um, again, those ulterior motives are at play with this person. Let's see what's coming in from them. Um, what is coming in from this person to Sag? Lots of air energy, more of it. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, to, uh, Ace of Swords here. All right, what's going on? What's coming in from this person? Sag is connected to the star Aquarius again. What's coming in from this person? Nine of wands and the nine of cups. So look, just be careful of doing, falling into their trap, doing exactly what they want you to do. Nine of cups here. Because it feels like they're trying to get you to do something. They're trying to push you um, to a reaction or they will be trying to push you into a reaction very soon. Um, and it feels like that's when <clears throat> I feel like the person you're connected to, Saj, they lost the game. You you beat them at their own game or you took the took the power back. And so this is a attempt to get the power back in this situation. All right. It doesn't feel like there's any real feelings attached to this person's actions at this time. It really feels like this is a power play for them. Ace of Swords and the Star feels like they're going to wave the shiny dangly thing in front of your face, right? I miss you. Um, you look good today. You're still sexy just so that they can then put their boundaries back up, right? They say, let me call you or let's talk. And then you call them and they don't answer. You plan something with them just like they want and they they stand you up. So what is this Ace of Swords about? There's some ulterior motives with this one. 
you're going to see the truth very soon. <laughs> um, the strength here, right? They're not going to be able to hide their truth very long. Now, for some of you, <laughs> it's very toxic, but I do feel like you're dealing with somebody who does care for you or love you. They're just mad or they just have something against the way you push them out of your life. And so now they're just on get back. It does happen like that in situations. They're being, they're being very petty. So I do feel like the best thing to do is kind of, um, refrain from having too much communication with them in this energy. Okay. I'm just saying Leo season, they're going to act up. So there's, you know, there's just something coming through that this person is going to attempt to get the power back from you that it feels like you took. And, um, I do feel, so there's strong protection messages here. I feel like that's for you. Don't believe the hype is coming through the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You could have a Scorpio who's vindictive. What is this star about? Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius now. Maybe you were dealing with a Leo and the, yeah, mm, two of swords lovers. Don't fall for it. There's a red flag here somewhere, guys. <laughs> and so, you know, um, I do feel like this is a false alarm, right? This is somebody who feels like, oh, they're coming back to do the right thing. Oh, they're, you know, they're getting my attention again. Um, that two of swords is a big red flag. This lovers feels like they know the right things to say and do to get back to you. And it feels like they do all the things, the flattery, the promises, let me see why this lovers is here because this two of swords is saying, is this what you really want to go through again? Um, it's sweet at first and then it turns bitter. All right. The ace of pentacles and the magician. Anytime the magician comes through, I do pick up someone who utilizes their power, but sometimes for the wrong things. And it feels like they definitely are going to communicate some things and make some promises here. The ace of pentacles feels like a new start. Again, it's a false alarm. <laughs> it's a false alarm. Keep your protectors up with this one. Nine of uh, wands coming through. Um, they're going to act up in the next couple of weeks for sure. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Beware of this trap. They're hoping you fall into this trap so that they can get their perceived notion of what power is back. But you guys have come a long way in fighting off this person and keeping them out of your energy and out of your space. I'm going to grab one more for you guys with this seven. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Seven of Swords, not the Eight of Swords. So even more reason to sort of keep your your guards up here this person feels like they're trying to get you into a trap still and they're not being honest about their motives <sighs> they're draining they are so draining they're here to emotionally drain you again queen of cups make you to pray on your soft heart for them all right they're here to make promises, to say sweet words in the tower, just so that it can fall apart again. Possibly the longest you'll get with them is a uh, Scorpio season. So let's say they start, you know, they start ringing your bell, August. All right. You may put up with them. And then by the time October, November gets here, you're done again. Because I don't even feel like they're going to stay solid for that period of time. It just feels like you're going to hang in there <laughs> for that period of time. If they come back, they act right for literally a few days. And then they're back, maybe nine. Then they're back to deceiving. They're back to lying. So this is your sort of warning tower here. This person is not to be trusted in this energy. Not right now. All right. They're just trying to get some power back from you. Okay, so that's what I have for you, uh, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box and I will talk to you soon.